hello guys welcome to my channel so today I'm going to start a new series which will be automating the excel file using python so uh, in this video I will be starting with hide and unhide the excel sheets inside the workbook um, using python so this is the first part and later on I will be showing you more ways to automate the excel sheet like people used to do with VBA so uh, Python is more efficient so that's why I'm starting this series so that people can know that Python is uh, uh, superior uh, in respect of VBA and they can do much uh, like much more than VBA so without wasting any time um, let's start with it so before I start let me just show you the excel file that we are going to process so as you can see that we have four excel sheets right now so what I want to do so uh, let me tell you one thing so you cannot hide all the sheets because in excel there should be one sheet which should remain open or visible so uh, I will be hiding all of them except instructions and then I will unhide all of them except instructions so let's start with it so let me close uh, le as you can see uh, right now this file has all the tabs right so we will see uh, after the processing is done that how many tabs we can see right now so I will be using idle and uh, um, we are going to use one library so if you don't have this please install this one you can simply use a uh, pip command to do that so if you don't know how to use pip command so first you need to find out the path where your uh, python is installed so I have seen that sometimes python gets installed in a difficult path which you cannot find easily so to find out the path you can simply do this after you do this you can see that which path you are um, you are having your python application and as you can see this is the path so after this uh, you will see a scripts folder inside the scripts folder you will see the pip application so you just have to navigate to that folder and then you have to use pip install and then write open pi excel so that's it that's uh, what you have to do so um, let me write down the code so what i will be do uh, what i i will be doing is i will import open pi excel as op so i don't want to write the whole name and uh, i have to give the path where my uh, excel file is residing right now so uh, the excel file is at c temp folder and you have to give the name so the name is sample data dot x l s x okay afterwards what you need to do is you need to open this right so when we open uh, an excel file we will see two things one is your workbook and then a workbook will have multiple sheets so first of all we need to get the workbook so to get the workbook you have to use the method load underscore workbook sorry um, uh, then you have to provide the path when you provide the path you will have your file inside wb object so to see if you have all of the sheets inside you just uh, need to call a method which is uh, it's not a method actually so let's try this so let me save it once so as you can oh okay <laughs> okay let me save it to test get saved um, press f5 okay so as you can see we have four sheets okay and I want to uh, hide these three so to hide what we need to do is first we need to iterate over my sheets so I will use the for variable not the variable loop uh, sheet variable actually 
so I will be having all the worksheets in this inside this as I just showed you then I need to print let me just print the names also just in case it's good for debugging purposes and uh, if so let me just uh, run this first so what we want is we want to um, hide the first index right so to hide the first index how should we achieve that so what you can do is you can obviously check for the index rather than which sheet object you are having right now okay or what you can do is you can hide all of them um, like this so this will change the state of all of the states to hidden but as you know we need at least one sheet to be open so what you need to do is you need to make that sheet object visible so that sheet will be your first one so which will be work sheets and then the index will be zero for the first one and then dot sheet state equals to visible so that's it i know this is a lengthy method but to explain more functionality i had to do this now what you need to do is you need to save this file to uh, let's say same path so i will provide the file name as um, let's say sample dot x l x x let's run this okay so this doesn't mean anything for us but it shows us that uh, till here everything was fine right so let's see so as you can see we have a file sample dot x l s x so let's open this one so as you can see we only have one tab right now and to hide and hide you will see some options like this when you right click on instructions so if you click on unhide you can see that there are three tabs right now so that's how you can hide the excel file so now let's unhide so to unhide you have to refer to the file sample.xls right because now we want the different file to unhide so to do that i have to go to my desktop okay um paste the path here and use double slash okay so this is it now we have opened the workbook here so let's just uh, print till here let let's remove this whole code so if you press f5 you can see that you have four sheet and if you want to know how many of them are hidden so what you can s do is you can use uh, if condition here sorry um, if sheet dot sheet state and then equals equals and then hidden if sheet state is hidden that means that you want to unhide that so to unhide what I will do is just first I want to know which sheet exactly is hidden so if I run this um, let me remove this one first to get more precise result so as you can see these are the three sheet that are hidden right now so to unhide what you need to do is those sheet who are hidden right now you just have to change the status of the sheet to visible so when you do that you are changing the status but now you have to save this file in a different um, name 
so file name equals uh, now I will give a name like um, sample 2 dot x l x x save it run it so let's see what we have so we have a sample 2 dot xls file so when we open this one you can see that you have now four sheets here and you can see the data so this is the first part of this series where I have showed you what you can do with Python so as you can see the code is really simple there is not much that you have to do there are simple steps that you have to perform and then you can get the desired result so I would recommend for those people who are still using VBA to migrate to Python because this can do much more than VBA and it's a good platform to learn so thank you guys for watching and please support me in liking my videos and yeah I need subscribers right now so please do press the subscribe button and share the video if you like my content and if you want anything specific you can always comment that in the comment section I will always reply and um, if needed uh, I will make a video a separate video for that unique task so thank you guys for watching have a great day